good morning, everybody, and welcome to the Saturday activities of the organization. I'm uh, Jim Bourgeois. My wife, Kathleen Ayers, and I both work at UC Davis in Sacramento, California. Our 23-year-old daughter, Gigi, is an MPAN um, patient. Regrettably, because her illness has progressed to the point we can't really travel with her, she had to stay uh, back at her assisted living facility. But she'll, uh, we'll tell her about the group, and I'm sure she'll remember and recognize everybody. We were first involved in the group back in 2017 at the Chicago meeting, then 2019 in Charleston, then 2021 virtually. Uh, I serve on the board of trustees. Kathleen serves on the development committee. Thanks to Jennifer uh, Sanchez and uh, Amber Denton for all the efforts in getting this meeting to Houston. It's a, a great endeavor to run a meeting such as this. I think it's gone rather, rather well so far. As part of the organization's sort of evolution, we've started a new committee called the Clinical Research and Development Committee that I'm chairing. The membership of this committee we are seeking to grow, we're looking for family members and other advocates from a medical, other health profession or scientific background, not necessarily yet engaged in NVIA. The idea being we want to broaden the mission of NVIA to institutions not yet involved, uh, either in the clinical service or, or uh, research for that. So we have a charter on how the committee works. Anyone who might be interested, just uh, seek me out sometime afterwards. I'm the one wearing the purple University of Washington shirt in honor of my son's MBA. And it does approximate NBIA purple. Um, or just get word to us later, later. Part of the mission of the committee, which we would welcome more members, I just said, is to honor uh, centers of excellence for the uh, care for the uh, patients in our community. We are very proud at this point to honor Oregon Health Sciences University as Clinical Research NBIA Center of Excellence for their 30 plus years of devotion to research, clinical care, and advocacy for all our patients. I particularly thank Drs. Hogarth and, uh, and Hayflick for their attention they've given our daughter, including uh, phone calls and emails recently uh, help with her condition. We especially appreciate the work of the NBIA Cure team. So I'm wondering if Dr. Hayflick and her team would come up to this podium for a presentation of the plaque. Thank you uh, so much. I, I, we work very hard uh, on your behalf. Um, and it's a real honor to be recognized um, in this way. I love that the organization has uh, sort of taken charge in trying to drive excellence in clinical care outside of Oregon. Um, and we're uh, prepared to help in any way we can to ensure that the other, um, that not everybody has to travel to Oregon for their care, but that they can get good care elsewhere. Having said that, we're always available um, and you know how to find us. Thank you. Thank you.